Tonight, new questions about safety at an Indiana factory. They come months after a female supervisor at Autoneum died after being pulled into a machine there. And we found out some employees say they saw a tragedy coming. Wave 3 News investigative reporter Natalia Martinez, the first to report the company's history of safety violations. And she's kept digging with this exclusive investigation. I spoke with a woman who also worked at Autoneum who told me she was hurt by the same machine that killed that supervisor. A seemingly normal night at work. Clark County 911, what is the address of your emergency? Turns deadly. Uh, somebody got caught in the machine. I'm positive they're dead. Melissa Stevens, a supervisor at Autoneum in Jeffersonville, was caught in a machine. The case report details a violent death, blunt force trauma, fractures, and amputation. Told several people somebody's going to end up getting killed on this machine, and unfortunately, it it happened. The news jolted Casey Ballou about one year ago while she was nine months pregnant. The same machine's metal rollers clamped down on her fingers, slowly reeling her hand in, crushing her bones in the process. Uh, the main thing that was going through my head is just let the baby survive. She remembers a co-worker pressing several of the emergency stop buttons, scrambling to find one that worked. Uh, had my backup not found one that worked, it would have completely crushed my skull. She was later told three of the four emergency stops weren't even wired in. I witnessed uh, many, many unsafe things. Baloo's fiance quit at the same time she did. He was trained on the same machine by Melissa Stevens, the woman who was later killed in it. He says he is one of several who didn't feel safe working there. There was a lot of people that weren't trained properly on the machines. And then there was um, a lot of other things like guards. Um, not being in place or people just bypassing these guards. Despite those concerns and even Baloo's injury, Indiana's OSHA never investigated the Jeffersonville factory. That's because under Indiana law, only a death or injuries more serious than Baloo's, like an amputation, the loss of an eye, or those requiring inpatient hospitalization have to be reported immediately. After Stevens died, the state did investigate and fined the company $200 $24,000, but her family may have little recourse. The law in Indiana prohibits people from suing their employer after an injury, even if there was a death or if the company was at fault. It's called the Workers' Comp Exclusivity Remedy. Medical bills and lost wages covered regardless of fault, but there's almost no chance to sue for punitive damages. Our stock-listed company employs more than 10,000 people all over the globe. AutoDM is a global auto parts company based in Switzerland. In a written response to our questions, they told us employee safety is top priority. They also told us they've disputed some of IOSHA's charges in Stephen's death, and they've made no admission of wrongdoing. You know, I was sad because I worked with her and and she was a good lady and a, she was good at her job. Baloo's baby. Show him your teeth. Now a healthy boy. While she continues therapy for her hand, she's warning others to speak up. You know, I understand people need jobs to survive and families to take care of and stuff, but at the end of the day, is it really worth your life? We previously found the company's other facilities had been cited 33 times by Federal OSHA. In 2016, the company was fined $600,000 after a man lost part of his arm. It was determined the company had been warned about placing safety guards on a machine, but that didn't happen. In the newsroom, Natalia Martinez, Wave 3 News.